Instagram and Facebook right now today. And uh, today we're just going to do a 10 a.m. detox flow. Detox flow means just a regular vinyasa flow. It's a little quicker. Uh, we'll be doing some twists, some hip openers. So it's a nice way to open up, to wake up in the morning. So we'll get started. Everybody take your time to make your way to a comfortable position on your mat or somewhere in your home, wherever you're most comfortable. <clears throat> Clear your mind. Begin to fire up deeper breath. That's in your practice, an ujjayi breath. Simply by closing your mouth and breathing diaphragmatically in and out of your nose. So your palms can be grounded on your thighs or knees, or you can receive by flipping your palms up. Good choice from your seated position. Take a few moments to make your way into a little presence, into a little peace. Maybe closing the eyes now, noticing your surroundings, wherever you're at this morning, however you're feeling. Acknowledge, be present. Perhaps fire up a deeper breath, maybe by firing up your ujjayi breath. Belly button rises on the inhale, belly button falls towards the spine as you exhale. Deep, full belly breaths. And as you sit here and breathe, maybe set an intention for your practice this morning. That intention can always be for yourself or for someone else who could use a little light and guidance in your life right now. Whatever that means to you, it can be a mantra, a wish, it could be a manifestation of something that you like or need in your life. Sealing in your intention. Inhale the arms up over your head. Palms will touch. Exhale, hands to the heart. Take a deep breath in. And a deep release out. Maybe gently close, open your eyes rather, and roll over right into a tabletop position. <clears throat> Coming right into tabletop, preparing some movement. Hands will be underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. And you can just start to gently move, swaying in your hips, bending the elbows slightly, circling your neck. Maybe you'd like to turn your wrists in towards the front of wherever you are and bend your elbows to in toward your body to open up that carpal area of your forearms and wrists. Continue to take just gentle movements and utilizing your breath to send it anywhere you're uncomfortable. Any tightness, irritability in the body, send your breath there as you start to awaken the senses, the body entirely. And continue to breathe. the spine, gaze forward, exhale around the spine, chin to chest, deep inhales, continuing that flow on your own breath cue, deep exhales, a few more times like that, three to five more rotations of cat and cat, just to awaken the spine, getting into the belly, the core. Exhale, find your first downward facing dog. Gently roll over the feet, pedal out the feet. Really spread the fingers nice and wide on your mat. And find some more movement into your first downward facing dog. Walk your dog, sway the hips, lift each heel and straighten each leg.
essentially find stillness and just gaze forward, tiptoeing feet to hands, top of your mat. Take your time to get there. As we make our way to the top, we'll find ragdoll, find a half lift on it, inhale. Exhale, fold and interlace elbows. Grab on the opposite elbow, you can keep a gentle bend in the knee as you sway, or start to straighten the legs a little deeper if you'd like to. Come right into the backs of the legs now. Try to send weight forward over the balls of the feet. Try not to sway back into the heels as much as you can anyway. This early in practice, we're still very tight. Open our hamstrings, the big muscles in our legs. And continue to breathe. Deep, full breaths in and out of your nose throughout your practice. Eventually releasing your fingertips. Inhale for a half lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, rise. Plant through the feet. Lift all the way up. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. Hands to the heart. We're going to take gentle side bends from mountain pose, from standing. So zip up the feet. Bring your big toes to touch. Your thighs to touch. And your breath full. On an inhale, let's reach the arms up, palms touch, gaze up. As you exhale, let's tip over to the left. I may be opposite to you right now. You can leave your arms up. You can interlace the fingers wherever you're at. Try to tuck the hips forward. Leave the biceps by the ears. Try not to arch the back. Try to keep a neutral spine. And just tip out and open to the left. Right side, body opening. Deep inhales. Deep release out. Inhale, come back to center. Reset the spine. Exhale, tip over to the right. Open the left side. You can interlace fingers or just leave the palms facing one another. Biceps by the ears. Deep, full breaths in. And releasing out. Feet rise up, 
Exhale, hands to the heart. <clears throat> Take a deep inhale, mountain pose, and a deep exhale. One more time through your breath. Deep inhale, lift up. Deep exhale, fold forward. Sun salutation A. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant palms, separate float through chaturanga, all the way down through a push up. Inhale, forward and through, upward facing. Exhale, back, downward facing dog. Deep inhale, deep exhale, inhale up on the toes, gaze forward, exhale, step or flow, top of the mat, inhale, half lift, neutral spine, exhale, fold and release, inhale, rise up, palms touch, climb through the feet, Exhale, hands to your heart, right in through sun B. Let's sink the seat off the chair, find a few breaths. Sun salutation B, kicking it a little slow, a little deeper to start us off. Maybe sinking through the seat as you breathe open. Making sure your knees don't go over your toes. Sit back a little deeper. Deep inhale. Exhale, fold over straight legs. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your palms, step or float through chaturanga. Take your push up. Inhale, forward and through, upward facing dog. Exhale, roll over the feet, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg comes up. Exhale, bend knee, open up hip. Take a few moments, get deeper into the side body, circle your right ankle. Straighten that right leg and pulse it. The foot open with the hip open. Inhale, re extend right leg. Exhale, knee to chest, warrior one. Take a few breaths. Root through the feet and rise up through expression. Maybe straighten that front leg if you need to. Eventually, find a deep lunge. Planted feet. Train track your feet, ample stairs between your feet, you can breathe. Deep inhale. Exhale to fold. Frame foot, step back to lower down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down. Inhale, left side up. Exhale, bend knee, open up hip. Take a few moments here, pulse that right knee. Circle the left ankle. Inhale, re extend left leg. Exhale, knee to chest, warrior one. Few. Find your way up, find your core, find your strength. Find that expression and take deep inhales. Deep releases help. One more deep inhale. Exhale, frame your foot. Step back to lower, chaturanga. Inhale, forward and through, upward facing dog. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Inhale, on the toes, knees forward, bend knees. Exhale, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, release. Inhale, same seat, rise up, upward chair. Exhale, straighten the hands to heart. Full breath in, full release out. One more time through sun salutation B. Sink the seat on an inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, fold, lower straighten the legs. Each breath a movement. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or float, chaturanga. Inhale, forward and through, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, knee to chest, warrior one. Breath in to rise. Step back and lower. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left side up. Exhale, knee to chest. Warrior one to rise. Deep inhale, come up through expression. Exhale, frame and flow. 
Leave him down, dog. Take a few moments. Come back to your breath. Notice the body warming up. Your heart rate speeding up a little bit. Send your breath to calm the body, calm the mind, stay present. Inhale, bend knees, gaze forward. Exhale, step or float, top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, sink seat, rise up, upper chair. Exhale, hands to the heart, straighten legs. Deep inhale. Deep, deep exhale. Inhale, rise up, palms touch. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant palms, step or flow through chaturanga. Vinyasa back to down dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, core plank. You're gonna hold a few breaths, knee to chest. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Time, deep breath in. Exhale, knee to chest. Warrior one to come up. Take a deep inhale. Begin to walk the right foot out slightly. Interlace fingers behind your back. Lift your heart on an inhale. Exhale, humble warrior. Heart center comes down. Inside edge of the left right knee. Breath is full. Inhale. Begin to just lift up halfway. Keep the bind or release it. Walk your right foot in slightly. Come up on the ball of the back foot. And again, either keep the bind or release to step into warrior three with or without a bind. Your choice. Keep that left leg flexed and lifted. Parallel to the mat if you can. Release the binds, come up to standing with that left knee in for a squeeze. Interlace fingers right below the kneecap. We're going to come into our first deep twist. So we're going to stay balanced. Our right hand will come to the outside edge of the left thigh. Left arm comes back. Stay right here, it's still early. If you'd like to deepen, bind around the outside edge of the left foot and extend the leg. Wherever you're at, twist out and open to the left. One more deep inhale. One last deep exhale. Come back to center, step it back into high lunge. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, twist right. Hands come to the heart. Let's twist over the right now. You can stay up high or you can drop the elbow to the outside edge of your right knee. Hands at heart, first lay open the arms. Deep inhales, deep releases out. Inhale back to center, reach the arms up. Exhale, frame the foot, simple twist. Left hand down, right arm comes up. Breathe fully. Stay with it. Deep inhale. Exhale, frame your foot, step to lower, just simply meet in down dog. Together, meeting in our downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, core plank and hold. Knee to chest. A few more breaths. Last deep inhale, exhale, step the left foot forward, rise up, warrior one. Deep inhale, deep, deep exhale. Walk the left foot out slightly, interlace fingers, lift hard on an inhale. Exhale, humble warrior, stay here for a few breaths. Plant for the feet, lunge 
lunge into the left leg and breathe. Begin to lift halfway. Walk the left foot in slightly. Hop up on the ball of the back foot. Power lunge into warrior three. With or without your binds. Take your time to get there. Utilize your breath. Stabilize. Inhale, come up to standing. Lift the right knee in for a squeeze. Release binds. Take a moment, circle your ankle. And then make your way into that twisted balance. Left hand to the outside edge of the right thigh. Right arm shoots back. You can gaze back to increase your twist or extend the right leg. Your choice. Stay with it. If you fall, just step right back into the pose. Center, send it back, or your three in a high lunge. Deep inhale, lift the arms. Exhaling into the heart, twist it out, opposite side, with or without the bind. Inhale, come through high lunge. Exhale, frame foot, right hand down, left arm up, simple twist. Continue to breathe and make space. Last deep inhale. Exhale, frame foot, step back to plank, lower down, meet in child's pose, taking a few breaths. Eventually dropping to your knees, wide legged with the knees or knees together. Seat to heels, arms extend forward. Drop your third eye down. Roll the fist at forearms or right to your mat. Just taking a few moments. Come back to your breath. Come back to that intention you may have set. If you've forgotten, maybe set one now. What's guiding you today? What's keeping you present? Begin to return to downward facing dog. Plant your palms, roll over the feet, pedal them out a moment and breathe. Deep inhales, deep exhales. From downward facing dog, right leg lifts. On an inhale, exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, down dog split. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Fall in triangle. Extend that right foot, right hand down, left arm up. Lift that left hip, lift it up to the ceiling, to the sky. Take one deep inhale. Exhale, hands down. Knee to chest, warrior one. Come up, take a deep inhale. Exhale, open up for warrior two. Inhale, straighten and reach, fly warrior. Exhale, rebag, warrior two. Inhale, straighten and reach. Exhale, rebend. Inhale, one last time, fly warrior. Exhale, hold the warrior two. Take a few body for the pose. Arms come out to a T. Deep lunge in that right leg. Hips are open. Inhale, flip your right palm. Exhale, find a few more moments of peace. Half or full. Keep binds or release. Half moon. Step into the right foot. Lift the left, right fingertips down, left arm up.
Deep inhale. Exhale, fingertips down. Tuck into a ball, left knee behind, right knee. Inhale, standing split. Exhale, left knee behind, right knee. Crouch down. Weight into the right leg. Inhale, standing split. Exhale, crouch down. This time we'll inhale and hold. Standing split. Walk the hands closer to the foot if you're comfortable in your standing split or leave them underneath the shoulder. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Come back, bring the hands under the shoulder, leave that left leg flexed up. We're going to take revolved half moon. Left fingertips stay down under shoulder. Right hand comes either to the thigh, the hip, or extends up. Reversing the twist. Breathing fully. Stay with it. Deep inhale. Exhale, fingertips down. Runner's lunge. Take your time to find low lunge. We're going to drop that. Back knee, hands come up onto the thighs, breath is full. You can lift the arms up, you can take a bind, your choice. the arms up. Exhale, frame the foot. Step back to plank. Either choose Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, left leg straighten. Exhale, left knee to right elbow. Fall in triangle. Take your time to find the pose. Plant in the left palm. Lift the right side up. Last deep inhale. Exhale, hands down. Knee to chest. Warrior one to come up. Deep inhale. Exhale, open up. Warrior two. Find warrior. Inhale, straighten and reach. Exhale, rebend. Inhale, straighten and reach. Exhale, warrior two. Last time, flying warrior. Deep inhale. Deep, deep exhale, breathe. Inhale, flip left palm. Exhale, take it up and back. Find some peace. Half bind, full bind. Your choice. Make it your own. Stay with your breath. Stay present throughout your practice. Releasing warrior two. Coming through into your half moon. Step into the left. Lift the right. Really flex that right leg. Breathe openness. Play with balance if you like. Deep inhale, exhale, fingertips down, right knee behind left knee, reset the hips, inhale, re-extend, exhale, re-bend, inhale, extend, standing split, exhale, re-bend, this time we'll extend and hold, take your standing split variations, walk the hands closer or leave them under the shoulder, breathe, flex the quads, Increase the pose to your flexibility. Wherever you're at, we walk the hands underneath the shoulders, find a neutral spine, right hand down, left arm inhales up. Revolved half moon. Deep breaths. Last deep inhale, exhale, fingertips down, 
runner's lunge, low lunge. Drop your right knee, send the left foot forward, hands to the front of the thighs. Stay right there or find a deeper pose. Taking a back bend, your choice. Last deep inhale, exhale, fingertips down. Come up on the ball of the back foot, step back to plank, either choose to lower or find down dog. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, bend knee, open up hip. Stay right here or flip your dog. Comfortable flipping, you know where you're going. Take a few moments to find that pose. If you flip, gently flip back. Medium down dog split. On an inhale, exhale into the chest. Warrior two. Inhale yourself up. Deep exhale, find the pose. Inhale, flip your right palm, find some peace. Exhale, let's find side angle. Right arm down, left arm comes up. You can take any variation you like here. If you like a half bind, extend. Bind behind the back, full bind. Bird of paradise, if that's in your practice today. I'll cue it. If you're taking bird of paradise, left foot meets right. Step into the left foot. Lift the right with the flip bound. A little wobbly today. Extend the leg from there, if that's in your practice. Birds, take a moment to express and then come back into your side angle. Inhale yourself back up. Exhale, straighten leg, palms to hips out, reach forward, out and down. Triangle pose. Yourself back up, warrior two, transition back. Take a deep inhale, exhale, frame your foot, step back to lower, knee and down dog. Inhale, left leg up, exhale, bend knee, open up hip, stay or flip your dog. Deep breath in, exhale, hands down, standing split, inhale, exhale, knee to chest, warrior two, left foot forward, back foot spins open, come right up. Inhale, flip left palm, exhale, find some peace. Take a deep inhale, exhale into side angle, left arm down, right arm up. You can stay right here. You can take a half bind. Make it your own. Full bind in the bird. You're taking bird. Right foot means left. Strong in the right leg. To come up with the left side. And find expression. Birds make your way back into side angle. Inhale, straighten the legs, come up. Exhale, bump hips out, triangle. Take a few breaths. Last deep inhale. Last deep exhale. Keep the legs straight and as you come up, we're just going to take a wide legged fold. Toes in, heels out. Any variations with the arms? If you like bind, maybe just the arms out. Inhale the heart up. Exhale.
Exhale, fold forward. Flex the quads as you fold down. Fingertips walk underneath you. You can stay right here. If you're comfortable in inversion, tripod or tripod headstand. Make your way into that. You know where you're going with it. Don't push yourself. Last deep inhale, deep exhale. Headstand eventually touch down. Find a half lift, deep inhale, and a deep breath out. Carefully rise all the way back up. Warrior two to transition down. Deep breath in, exhale, frame foot, step back to lower, lean in down dog. Deep inhale, deep, deep exhale. Inhale, right leg reaches up. Exhale, knee to chest. Simple twist, left hand down, right arm up. You can stay right here. If side plank is in your practice, make your way back into that left side, lift the right leg up, fall on a tree, any variation you like. One more deep inhale. Exhale, hands down. Knee to chest, lizard lunge. Deep into the hips. We can drop to the elbows. We can lead that knee up or drop the knee down. If you'd like any sort of bind, extend that left leg. Bind with the right hand if it's in your practice this morning. Step to the top. Knees splayed out. Elbows, I'm sweating like pigs. <laughs> Elbows in towards the thighs. Hands are at the heart. Breath is nice and full. Stay with it. Stay with your breath. Maybe close the eyes a moment. from here. So our right fingertips will come down, our left arm will reach up. You can stay right here in this twist or take any sort of bind, half bind behind the back, full bind around the right shin, the right arm. Interlace fingers behind you. Gaze up or down, wherever you're most comfortable in your neck. Deep into the hip, a little constriction into the right side. Giving the vital organs a nice massage. Release any variation. Come back to center. Inhale, left arm down, right arm up. Exhale into any variation. Half bind, full bind. Your choice. Stay with it. Keep that intensity. Fire in the breath. Getting deep in that left side now. Nice compression into the left side. Aiding in digestion, elimination, detox. Detox the body figuratively and literally with your breath, with each movement. Come back to center, hands to heart. We're meeting at the top of our mat for crow. Crow prep or just stay in the yogi squat. If you're not into crow, by all means, take your time. If you'd like to play around with balance, bringing the knees in towards the triceps, lift one foot at a time. If you're lifting both feet, make your way there. Find your breath. Playing with balance. 
arms for another few moments. Eventually make your way back to down dog, stepping or floating back. Coming into that left side. Carefully on an inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, left knee forward. Simple twist. Right hand down, left arm up. Stay right here, or take your side plank into the right side. You can lift that left leg up. You can take fallen tree. Star pose, your choice. Make it your own. Stay with it. Stay with your breath. Stay strong. Stay present. Last deep inhale. Exhale, hands down, knee to chest, lizard lunge. Drop on the elbows, leave that right leg extended. Notice that deep opening in your psoas, or drop the knee and take a bind to get into your quad. You can utilize this time getting that left hip still by coming to the knife edge of the left foot. Use your breath. One more deep breath in and deep release out. Release that left leg back if you found. Bring the elbows down for forearm plank. Fire up, bring the feet back, come up onto the toes, heels towards the back of the room, elbows under shoulders. 30 seconds, few breaths. Lift each foot alternatively, rock up onto the toes. Wherever you're at, tuck the hips and utilize this time to get deep and fiery into your core. Halfway there. You're shaking, roll with it. Stay strong in the center body. Five more seconds. Three, two, drop the knees, sphinx pose. Elbows stay on the shoulders. Completely release the lower body. Release the glutes, the quads. We're planting into the palms and elbows and just lifting them through a back bend. Breath settle. Take one more deep breath in. As you exhale, drop onto your chin, drop onto the right or left cheek. Arms come back behind you. Take a breath. back for a moment now, bring your chin to your chest. We'll take another back bend. Our second back bend will be a locust pose variation. So wherever you're at, you're going to really focus on using your hip bones as a fulcrum to plant them into the mat. And then you're going to either interlace your fingers behind you, below your seat, off to the sides, palms face down. Or if you'd like to, find your arms forward into Superman. Wherever you're at, we're going to lift the entire body besides our hip bones. So plant them through the hip bones and then lift on your next inhale. Find the variation of the pose. Get a nice massage into the belly. Breathe fully. Breathe openness. Breathe fresh energy. Release stuck in stagnant air, stuck in stagnant energy. One more inhale. Find your edge. Exhale, lower down. Opposite cheek to your mat. Release completely. Come back to your chin. One last back bend. Make your way into uh, 
we, uh, bow pose, if you like, or another locust variation. Bow pose, we're bending and we're binding around the tops of the feet or the ankles with the hands. Bind that fulcrum into your hip bones. And whenever you're ready, lift both your upper and lower body. Flex into the hands with the quads. Lift the heart center forward. Breathe openness. Maybe breath by breath, taking it a little deeper, a little sips of air. Find your edge. Lower down, release. Windshield wiper the legs, take a sigh. Meet in child's pose. Try to bring the knees together to start to release the lower back. Arms extend forward, both fists or forearms, your choice, or arms behind you. Into downward facing dog, roll over the feet, plant the palms, inhale, right leg up. Exhale, knee to chest, pigeon pose. Right ankle, right knee touch down. Left leg scoots back. Top of the left foot is down. Hands come forward towards the hips. Drop the shoulders, proud pigeon, lift the heart. Stay here, fold. Dropping your forehead back down to something. Roll the fist, forearms, your mat, wherever flexibility leads you. We'll be here for a few breaths. So take your time to get deep in your pigeon pose. Get deep in your stash. Release that stuck and stagnant energy again. If anything comes up, any irritability, anxiety, stress, all too common. Take your time to send your breath to release those thoughts, those feelings, that energy. Release it out of your practice, out of your mind. Make room for renewal. Eventually, carefully, Planting the palms will come right into Janus your sasana. So our right knee and ankle will stay there. Our left leg will swing around, swoop it around in front of you. Right foot inside the left leg, left foot flex, toes toward nose. Inhale to reach your arms up. Exhale, fold forward over that left extended leg. Stay with it, stay present. more breaths. Inhale yourself up, right in a gate pose. One of my favorite poses. Nice deep open pose. Let's get our left arm to the inside edge of our left leg and our right arm will shoot up. Bicep will eventually be by the ear or that right hand can shoot over toward the foot. Your choice. Try not to collapse into the left side. Try to stay open. No rush to the foot. Notice that right side from that right hip bone all the way up toward your fingertips. Open up. Make room. Belly button is into the spine. Stay engaged. Inhale, come back up. Right into rock star. Right hand down, right knee down, left foot plants, counter stretch. Left arm over the head. Come back to Bring the left leg in front of you into pigeon pose. Left ankle and knee, top of the mat. Right leg scoots back. Take your time to transition into the other side. Realign your hips. 
Notice the natural imbalance in our hips. This is my tough side, so we may be a little tighter. Find cow pigeon to reset the spine, drop the hips down, lift the heart up, pull forward when you're ready. Maybe we're coming down to our rolled up forearms or fists, maybe right to a block of where we're at. Notice anything again that may arise, any irritability or anxiety, anything at all. As we get deep into our stash, like I said, we hold the motion deep into our hips. right back up, down on the opposite side. Come into that left side, swing the right leg around, down in Sirsasana, right leg flex, left foot into the right thigh. Heart lifts up, arms reach up, inhale, exhale to fold forward over that right extended leg. Try to lead with your heart, breath by breath. Shoot out and open, bicep is by the ear, again try not to collapse, try to leave the heart open. Left arm over, maybe it comes down to the foot eventually, maybe not. to rock star. Left hand down, left knee down, right foot plants. Reach out and open into the opposite side. Come back to your seat. This time bring your knees in for a squeeze. Drop your forehead down. Legs come out nice and wide. Seated, wide-legged, forward fold. Adjust yourself on your mat. Find that deep opening. Flex the quads. Walk the fingertips out in front of you. Toes are toward the nose again. Take a deep inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, fold to your capacity. Just drop the heart. Leave the seat glued to the mat. Tent the fingertips, maybe walk them out. Breath by breath, moment by moment. Deepening the pose. A few more breaths to make it your own. Find your edge. Come up to seated. Seated bound angle. Grab the backs of the legs. Feet together. Knees splay off at your sides. You can butterfly the knees a moment. Find that sweet spot in your hips. The knees, the heels can come in or the heels can walk out, depending on how you'd like to get deep today. As you exhale, find the pose. Fold forward. Listen to your body. Listen to the flexibility you're creating. True to yourself. Don't push yourself. Cooling down the body, finding those deep openings, breath by breath. Then 
slowly lift yourself up, right into boat pose, zip up the knees. We're going to take a few moments in boat to get into our core one last time. So we're going to bring our hands to our heart, take a deep inhale, exhale, twist over to the right, inhale through center, exhale, twist to the left, using your elbows, try to straighten out the spine, stay with it. A few more like that, twisting deep into the obliques, deep into your core. Inhale center, exhale left. Inhale center, exhale right. Two more times, two full sides. Inhale left, and right. Inhale center, exhale left. Last time, over to the right. Inhale, bow, exhale, lower, all the way down to your mat. Take a sigh and take a few breaths. Find your peace and space. You made it. Eternally thank yourself for that deep practice. Notice all that beautiful energy you've created. Search through your body. Deeply breathe in through your nose on an inhale. Deep release out of the mouth as you exhale. Deep, bring your knees in for a squeeze. Let's take your time to find an inversion. Legs up the wall, shoulders stand or plow. Head stand if it's in your practice. By all means, make it your own. Five to seven more breaths to find expression through your version of an inversion. Eventually make your way back down, rolled up into a ball. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, drop knees left, gaze right. Deepen the twist any way you like. Maybe you like to straighten the right leg or cross the right leg over the left. Maybe scissor pose is in your practice, finding the right foot to the left, the right hand to the left foot. Center, squeeze everything, forehead towards the knees, flex legs, flex arms, release into final shavasana. Take your time to make your way back, release out of any expectation you set for your practice today. Take five to seven minutes for yourself to find your deepest place. The most important part of your practice is your final rest, settling everything in. Thank you so much for joining me today. The light in me honors the light in all of you. Namaste.